Hello, hello, and welcome back, my beautiful moon and stars. It's your girl, Starlight. Let your light shine. And in today's video, I want to get right into it for you guys today. So we're going to be talking about when God is elevating you guys, when he's leveling you the heck up, and you guys are at the top, you guys are doing super good in your life. Why do these people, these narcissistic people, try to come back? So why do people do this? You know, why do people just sit around and watch us all day, you know, and stalk us and kind of like almost like prey on us, you know what I mean? Like they want to see if they have some type of hold on us still, you know, and that's why they try to come back is to see that, is to kind of get a rise out of you, try to make a fight out of something stupid, you know what I mean? Or say something to you and see if you still care. A lot of people do this. A lot of narcissistic people do this too because they want control. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about control. They, and also just to use you, to gain something from you. Um, whether it is, you know, your popularity, to gain your followers, you know what I mean, just from knowing you. Or money, you know what I mean? Money, abundance, whatever abundance you have in your life. Or just to, like, live the life that you're living, that you were rewarded with, that you were blessed with. You know, when God is blessing you, you know, these people don't deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you left that's why they left you whatever it's done let it be let it go right you know god is elevating you he's he got rid of those people for a reason right so now you're on the up and up honey keep going do not look behind you do not look backwards do not move backwards keep taking steps forward you know and that's what these people want they want to see if you're gonna like look back here and there if you're gonna reach out to them you know, because like, especially if you keep thinking about this person or, you know, if they are spying on you on your social media, liking your pictures, whatever, you know, that's just like them letting you know, hey, I'm still watching you. Or if even if they're not watching you or if you don't have social media, it doesn't matter. They're going to have people watch you. They're going to have people spy on you, see how you're doing, ask them how you're doing, you know, and, you know, you, you don't have any beef with these people, but it's like... They just have like these little, with narciss narcissistic people, you know, they're called flying monkeys, you know, like they're followers, people who think that they're rays of sunshine, you know what I mean? <laughs> people that they fooled and manipulated to think that they're all grand and great and they have a good, kind heart. No, they do not. Like their friends are fooled as just as, as just as you were, you know what I mean? As just how you were fooled with them. They fool everybody else around them because they're so focused on their self-image and that will deteriorate, especially after doing a chosen one wrong, you know, they're gonna have a lot of bad juju, a lot of bad luck in their life, you know, might not happen now, might happen a year from now, too, it doesn't matter, but it's gonna happen, justice will be served, you know, in the spiritual realm, you know, I've always wondered this, I'm sure you guys have wondered this, it's really annoying when these people try to come back into our life and try to have some type of control and usually that's what happens with narcissistic people you know any tox toxic person that tries to come and see if they have some type of hold on you still you know they say something you know they it's like they know how to push your buttons especially if you did date them at a certain point or you dealt with them for a long time they know what to say to like irk you but it's like you've healed from that and you know better so i would assume you guys would block them, delete them, totally recommend it. You're never going to win with a narc, with a narcissistic person, unfortunately. It's it's just how they are. It's like ingrained into their like their skin, their blood, you know what I mean? Like, they don't care. You know, they're always right about everything, or so they think. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, they're very prideful, huge egos. Like, they want their back stroked all the time. Like, they're just very pathetic in that sense. It's unfortunate. They have a lot of demons they gotta face, but they're not want. They're not willing to. They don't. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to heal. Let them be. Let it go. Just let them go. It doesn't matter at this point. But yeah, you know, when people try to come back into your life, when you've leveled up, when you've had a glow up, when you look really good, when you have so much money, abundance, it doesn't matter what the heck's coming into your life. But a lot of good things. God is blessing you like crazy these people are seeing it you have all these opportunities you're meeting new people you're dating someone new 
they come back because they get envious, they get jealous. They were already jealous and envious before you got rid of them, but now they're, it's like even like 10 times more, like 20 times, right? Because they want to control you. They want what it is that you have even. Not even more about control. It's not about, you know, control all the time. It's just they want to take something from you. With narcissistic people, with narcs, it's very, it's very controlling with them. They love to control things in their life. They try to control everything, but a lot of stuff is out of their hands and they got to realize that. But when they do, they get really snarky and they get really like annoyed by it and they just kind of have to move on. It creates like more anger within them when they can't control everything, especially you, because they know that you're so strong within yourself and like you have a really strong intuition and God is protecting you. They can't win with that. You know what I mean? So they just move on to the next victim that and that's what they are you know they're victims you know we're, we're just victims to narcissistic people so they can control they go to people who aren't very uh level-headed who are you know focus on a passion of theirs someone who's kind of lost that's the people that they focus on because they like it's easier to control them you know especially empathic people who haven't elevated who haven't who aren't really woke per se you know, like I was like years ago, like I didn't know what the flip was going on in my situation. I didn't know I was with a narcissistic person. So I was like, all right, this is fine. This is normal. And I got very used to it. Like a lot of empaths will get used to it. And a lot of chosen ones will get used to being with these people, with these narcs, because they think it's just, this is normal. No, not conditioned anymore, honey. Sorry. Bye. You know, these people are going to be envious. These people are going to be jealous, you know, seeing your come up. They want to see you fail at the end of the day, guys. If I'm going to be real with you guys, they want to see you fail. They do not want to see you come up at all. They don't want to see you win. They want to see you lose because they're not doing good in their life. They're not, the thing is, though, they're not doing crap at all in their life. You know, maybe they're doing things here and there, thinking that they're doing good. It's going to fall out. That's just how karma works. You know what I mean? It's like they're feeling good about certain things and they can manifest only so much until that bad, dark mindset sets in and then boom, it goes to crap and they can't manifest anything. And that's when karma hits them the most. You know what I mean? When they're trying to do things for themselves. So it's like whatever they're wishing on you, it's going to backfire big time onto them, onto their life. They need to watch out. Mm -mm, it's not good because the thing is oh god sees that he sees that dark toxicity in their heart that jealousy in their heart he sees that they're not really a good person they don't have good intentions they can be good if they choose to be but they don't want to be they don't care they're just going to sit in their feelings and emotions and drink themselves to death or have sex with everybody or whatever whatever vice they have you know eat a lot whatever um go out a lot you know party all the time video games whatever they want to do to like try to mask and try to numb themselves you know they try to mask the pain you know what i mean it's like putting a band-aid <laughs> like it's not gonna work dude you gotta go inside you gotta like heal from within like no they don't want to do it but yeah you know these people are jealous they they want control again they want control over you in some kind of way and you know they're gonna come at you and try to get you you know what i mean with whatever speech they have you know what i mean they might try to give you a love offer they might try to seem charming you know and it's like and this is like for like friends family doesn't matter who it is you know what i mean they're gonna love bomb you again so there's three stages with an arc with how they approach somebody, a victim, if you will. They love bomb you, they devalue you, and they discard you, you know, when they have no more control over you. When you have found your worth within, they flick you to the side, they push you away, and they find someone else that's, they think in their head, in their mind, they're, it's way better than you. It's like, yeah, because they're better, because they, they, you can control them. They're very big, like, sociopaths as well. Like, they have a lot of issues mentally like they're not well at all <laughs> especially within here but definitely in here a lot of mental anguish is going on in their heads that's why they think the way they think and act the way they act and they treat us the way they treat us 
And again, they don't care. But they will have a taste of their own medicine. Once they deal with the wrong person, they'll know it. Because that's when karma is going to hit them the most. Just protect yourself. Always and forever. Do not forget that. Sage cleanse. Do not let these crappy people come into your life. Do not do it. We don't do that. You know, protect, heal, do your thing. Rise up. Just keep letting God bless you guys. Staying true to you. Ignore these people. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Love yourself. And yeah, catch you later. Bye.